Starting live video and we are live from Keeler Gardens on this very brisk Saturday afternoon. So, so everyone can uh, get a chance to get their ding notification Keeler Gardens live. We're going to take a brief moment to tell you who we are, Keeler Gardens on the northwest side of Chicago. We are a nonprofit, a 501c3, connecting you with nature. Right now, our programs are through these videos. Here at Facebook and a little bit on Instagram, we bring you some programs to connect you with nature in a variety of different ways. Connecting with nature to <laughs> benefit you with uh, improved um, health, uh, relieving stress, good for the kids, good for development and foundational skills, um, good emotionally. Um, it's um, a general well-being and something we should incorporate every day into our lives. So you will see the benefits. Join us here regularly. Visit with us. Many of you have seen the benefits because you're walking through neighborhoods and things like that. As we return to work and stuff like that, don't forget how much better you felt when you could take those. And you long to be in this beautiful space. Yes. So, All right. Join us regularly here on the north side. Public sidewalk. Anybody can walk by any time. And, and I see. Uh, specifically, we want you to join us uh, tomorrow from 3 to 5 p.m. at 4026 West Patterson, which is just on the street, for our pop up market. And the reason why we're talking about our pop up market today. Say hi to Dr. Cavaro. Oh, hey, Dr. Cavaro. I know you can't join us at our pop up market, but you can see all the beautiful flowers that we're going to have. We're featuring what's in bloom because what's in bloom now is what's going to be at the pop up market. So we're going to start with Spirea. Wonderful for the bees, covered in flowers. And as these flowers fade, when we prune it back, it will flower again. Not as profusely, but it will flower again. This is one of our, our very favorites. I'm going to have our cameraman back up and, and swivel around to his right, left, whatever. Oh, sorry. He's going to face down. Look at these beautiful roses. They're called popcorn roses because the buds look like little popcorns. And they start out really um, sunshiny yellow with a tinge of red. And then they open, and as they open, they get lighter and lighter and lighter. Lemony, and then creamy white. And the scent is phenomenal. And then an exciting bloom. Oh, well, there you are, Hunter. Bloom. Hey, Hunter. Uh, this beautiful display of clematis. Right now we see a deep purple and a light lavender bell. And down at the base, it didn't grow as tall. On the other side, there is a lovely burgundy one also. It's a combination, but it's a really, But really that won't be at the uh, pop-up. We won't have that at the pop-up because it's a vine. But it was right here, and I really wanted to show it off. And if we come this way, we do have some red roses, and we have some climbing uh, princess pink roses that also smell lovely. Um, and do we have a good enough connection to see the new well, one? Uh, sure, yeah. So if we come through our arbor, blossom but there's a baby a new one and you can see this beautiful lovely pink tone it is it's just a wonderful flower um, and look there's a new one coming here too so this one was just resituated so it's going to come up and over next year and then we'll go out to the show you what uh, natives are blooming so in the native pollinator habitat <laughs> We have plucked a few of these to share with the community. Um, they're, uh, I mean, they're they're white, but they have a hint of lavender to them. They're really quite lovely, and the stems have a, a hint of redness to them also. If we shift and uh, flip around to the other direction, you'll see here the Onothera, the th sun drops or the primrose, is also in bloom. A lovely, lovely, stunning, bright yellow flower. Uh, coming soon will be the Diarvia. That's going to be covered in yellow honeysuckle-like blossoms. It's called bush honeysuckle. We'll have you spin around again one more time. There's more spirea in bloom back there. Our uh, barberry, um, it's, I think it's a rose glow related cultivar. It is uh, popping with some red tones in its Just leaves. to the right of the, the tree, the you right can see tree, it you with see the uh, pink sort tones. Of variegation. The new foliage is uh, variegated with pinks and whites and the greens. And then as it gets older, it takes on a um, sort Let's of a Let's see if we can walk over, because you can't really see it from here. We'll take a detour and show you uh, spider wart first. That will be at the pop-up. That'll be at the pop-up. And how it changes. And, and uh, we showed you the pretty yellow flowers earlier, and now they're little red berries. It's a beautiful, beautiful shrub. And 
And then, uh, although not a native, this Campanulo is a wonderful red bell flower. That will be? That will be also in the bouquets at the pop-up. Um, if you see here our sign, we also have harvested peonies. All peonies, mostly peonies are faded by now. And we will have beautiful blossoming, just blossoming peonies for you. They're opening up lovely. Uh, okay, we did the Campanula. Oh, here, we have more of that Penstemon digitalis here. The Penstemon herstus, which was a little shorter, uh, it blooms a little more uh, in a purple tone. It's almost gone. They're almost all faded away. And in the background is Catmint. Can you see the little purple stalks right there? That's Catmint. And then if we turn back and this way. And there's a cat. There's a cat going by the Catmint. Uh, if we turn back this way. But the cat's so cute. <laughs> come here, Hunter. Come and join us. Cameraman. Oh, sorry. <laughs> here down low, we have uh, uh, Cranesbill Geranium just filling in the space. Uh, our Onothera pops up. If you guys uh, are not familiar with it, um, it seeds pretty rapidly, so after it flowers, we tend to cut it back so it doesn't seed so rapidly. And then uh, this is um, oregano in bloom. Uh, it's a golden oregano. Uh, when we're going to eat it, we don't let it bloom. We eat it before it blooms. Uh, but since we're not going to eat this, we are letting it flower. I don't know if you can see in the pot back there, those little yellow flowers in front of the pot. That's chamomile. Little dots of flowers. You probably can't see them, but they're right in there somewhere. Sure, Facebook. Uh, Oh, show Facebook, sorry. There are little dots of yellow right underneath that pot right there. That's the uh, um, chamomile, which is an herb that's considered well-liked um, And if you by look, the even though they're not in bloom yet, you can see the, oh. hey, Maggie. Can't, hey, Maggie. Uh, oh, you can Maggie, see... we were gonna do the milkweed thing today. I'm sorry we never got around to it. Did we miss what? you? Um, so we'll do them. So we, we were gonna do a little um, show on how we dig up milkweed, uh, cause it's a runner. Um, if anyone's interested, I'll post the picture here also as a comment. Um, but if anyone is interested in, in how to split and share milkweed, the common milkweed, because Maybe it's a runner. Maybe we can on the end of it just show um, the milkweed we yeah. dug up. Um, it's already planted, though. Oh, it is? There's more on the side. Oh, yeah. We'll show, we'll show everyone roots on the side. But um, I can, we can come over here this way. But uh, you can see the caterpillars are already having a field yeah, day. They're, they're, and, and it's changing every day. Uh, this wild rose is also getting ready to just be covered in these beautiful... Oh, there were a couple things. open earlier. Yeah, when it gets cold, cold. and uh, the sun goes down, they close up. But here you can see all the flowers. She was uh, busy priming uh, her front room oh, and... So we didn't miss you. Now she wants to pass out. Can I come by tomorrow? Um, tomorrow will be tough. We've got our pop-up market tomorrow that we were advertising. Well, the two of you uh, talk offline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk offline about that. I'll email you. Um, so yeah, we're really excited. Look at these flowers, aren't they amazing? I would love it if we could find you a caterpillar. It'd be so cool to be able to show you a caterpillar right now, but we don't see any. So soon, we hope. I've seen a lot of eggs and we have seen at least one caterpillar in here already. And then, um, let's see, bellflower. Yeah, that pretty much covers what's going to be at the, the pop-up. One thing I did want to show you, I don't know if I showed everyone this last week or not, but I mentioned this beautiful um, popcorn roses. So um, these are a hybrid, so you know, they're bred, but if you look closely down on the left side, see the pink? That is naturally growing from the base on its own stem. It's a slightly darker, slightly smaller leaf. It's a little different and the flower is completely different. So we have a natural genetic variant. Uh, I'm I don't trying to know, focus, there we go. I don't know if it's um, reverting back to its original or if it is doing that um, as a new a new genetic twist. And I'm looking to see, if you notice the speckling in this one, we have a little of the same speckling up here in this one. So I don't know what's going on with this guy, but it's a, a neat genetic twist. It is windy and cold. Windy and cold. So with that, Maggie, sorry that we're, uh, we're almost done here. We, we just arrived. Um, she wants to know if the rose is fragrant. Very fragrant. Come by on a sunny day and you just walk over here and you can totally smell it. So, um, just to review, we did Penstemon and Herstus, the Spireas in blue, Milkweed's on its way, um, a, a different kind of Spirea, the front Odenthera, Sundrops, those are in blue. Lots so, of smoke bush uh, for tomorrow. Uh, there will be smoke bush tomorrow. We have a collaboration on that uh, with a, a local smoke bush. <laughs> and maybe um, some herbs? Yes, we will have little herb packets too. Mint, chives, oregano. oregano. I have thyme, I think. There might be a little thyme in there. Uh, there's, and we have different kinds of it, like three or four different kinds. It's really interesting. So uh, we really are excited about seeing everyone tomorrow at the pop-up market. Don't forget, 4026 West Patterson.
Maggie not says, here. Maggie says Keeler Gardens is looking beautiful. Well, thank you. Walk by and you'll get to see all these in person. So uh, I am freezing. And Say the address one more time because I totally interrupted you. The address is 4026 West Patterson. If only that was written down someplace. You'll find it behind you. Oh, look right at that. Here. We'll post the um, flyers flyer already been posted. Well, oh, it's it's posted on yeah, our right, page. Yeah, right. Yeah. And uh, it's also right on the sidewalk too. All right. So we're really looking forward to seeing everyone. I it, am rushing because I'm cold. But if I you have any questions today. about yes. horticulture, Gina uh, at keelergarden.org. Any questions about program or educational type stuff, you can email me, ed, ed, at keelergardens.org. That's just ed at keelergardens.org, not ed, ed, at keelergardens.org. Wow. All right, so, uh, and well, keelergardens.com is still our website. So. Thank you very much. And we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll, we might be doing an extra live tomorrow, but we'll definitely have posts from our event. We can't wait to see you tomorrow. Excellent. It's already looking good. So, hashtag stick around. <laughs> I think that was just it. <laughs> so. I got nothing on that one. I'm gonna give you one line of it. Wait. I thought just go with I've got my love to keep me warm. Oh, I've got my love to keep me warm. I am so sorry, everyone. I am stumped. Here it is. It is. Um... Wow. That's all I know. I've got my love to keep me warm. That works. That was a really weak stick around. I am sorry you all stuck around for that. <laughs> Maybe on Monday we'll do something better, all right? All right. We'll see you guys on Sunday. Monday and then again Monday. Bye-bye. Yes.